Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, I chose a really nice day to talk about our next issue. Uh, <laughs> there's a really good storm coming up. And today we're going to be talking about speed. So, stay tuned and let's go and have some fun. Wow, what a storm. I couldn't use my head outside, otherwise it would have been blown away. Speed, the final element of our journey to creatively understand and use basic technique in photography. When I say speed, I don't mean how fast you can run depending on who's chasing you. What I do mean is how fast the shutter in our camera can open and close to let light in and onto our film or sensor. This speed is referred to as shutter speed and it is measured in fractions of a second and in seconds. The longer it takes our shutter to open and close, the more light gets in the camera and hits our sensor or our film. On the contrary, the faster it goes, the less light. Makes sense, doesn't it? There is one other thing though that is influenced by the speed of our shutter and this is called motion blur. And motion blur is something that we can introduce in our pictures willingly or by accident. There is one basic rule that says that the minimum shutter speed you should use not to get a shaky image is one by the focal length of your lens. For instance, if you use a 200 mm lens, the minimum shutter speed should be one over 200. By using a stabilized lens and by practicing, you can bring this value down by a lot. <laughs> now about the creative possibilities that we have using speed. That would be first, either you freeze the movement or you introduce motion blur on purpose. Once again, the faster the shutter speed, less light, motion frozen. The longer the shutter speed, lots of light, motion blurry. Now it's up to you to use your knowledge to create artistically beautiful images on purpose. Remember, in the first video we talked about ISO, which means the sensibility of our sensor of our film. Uh, the lower the number, the more light, the higher the sensitivity, the higher the ISO, less light is needed. The second video was about aperture. Tiny little holes, huge depth of field. Everything is in focus. Huge holes, big aperture, shallow depth of field. Only the main subject is in focus and the rest is blurry, out of focus. Okay, and now third, speed. The faster the shutter, we freeze action. We freeze movement. The slower the shutter, we have, we introduce motion blur. These three things combined define our exposure settings. This is the law of triangle I talked about in the very first video. These are the three main things you have to consider for creatively composing and exposing your image. Whatever happens from now on in the future, in your case, will be on purpose. So if you have motion blur or you don't, or you freeze that action, if you have a shallow depth of field or you have the entire picture in focus, if you're shooting in a low light situation or if you're shooting under bright sunshine. Being creative is how you combine these three elements in your photography. And this is my challenge to you. Be creative. 
use shutter speed, use aperture, use ISO sensitivity and start being creative. Another short video, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions, just write them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and press that notify button so that you won't miss on any other new videos that I post. I hope to see you then. Have a nice day.